And this one we're going to talk about my Funko Pop collection. Let's get into it. Roll that intro. Hi all, Keith here. Welcome to the video. Before we go too much further, make sure you pause the video and click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. All right, what got me thinking about doing this video about my Funko Pops was I did this YouTube short a couple weeks ago and as you can see, there was a lot of interest on it so I thought, Maybe you guys want to see more details, so that's what we're going to do today. All right, let's take a look at the Funko Pops. Okay, so I usually have my blue lights going on right here, but I don't know. I just thought it was easier to see them without it. But anyway, so here we go. First, we'll start with the minifigures, and these came from uh, actually an advent calendar. It's Harry Potter a couple years ago, but I think they're really cool, and they don't take up that much space since they're like the mini figurines. But as you'll notice, most of it, our collection here is actually Disney-themed. And we got the uh, Disneyland 65th here with Mickey and Sleeping Beauty Castle. Also from the 65th, we got Donald riding the Matterhorn. We got Peter Pan riding his ride, actually. And we have Mr. Toad riding his ride for the 65th. Now, one of my favorite rides is the Haunted Mansion. So, of course, I have Victor Geist right there. And I actually have the Disneyland version of the Haunted Mansion, which is actually my favorite. And we have Madame Leota there from the Haunted Mansion. Going all the way to the bottom here, we got the Yeti riding the bobsled at Disneyland, Alice in the Teacups. And we got the Jungle Skipper driving his jungle boat for the Jungle Cruise. And... Of course, Adventure Mickey, yes. And then we have some figures. So that's Briar Rabbit, Briar Fox, and Briar Bear from Splash Mountain. Quasimodo from one of my favorite 90s Disney movies, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. A little Toy Story action over here with Forky and Buzz Lightyear. And then taking it back a little old school for you with Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Speaking of the 80s, we got Garfield and Odie, of course. And then Rainbow Unicorn from Inside Out. And above him, we got Festive Patrick Star. Love him. From Epcot's 35th, we got Figment. Then, of course, we have Red right here. Uh, and Orange Bird over here. And Booberry. You remember the 80s when it, they had Booberry, Frankenberry, and uh, Count Chocula? Well, Booberry was always my favorite. So, of course, I had to get one of the Booberry Funko Pops because he's one of my pop icons. And that's just the cool thing about these things. They're really just like a whole bunch of pop icons that kind of like bring you back to different times, maybe in your youth, maybe current day. Anyway, let's keep looking. All right, my 80s friends will remember the AT. We got Mr. T in his van right there. It's pretty cool. Uh, we got Deadpool right there and the Mad Hatter. And then down here we got... <laughs> We got Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad and The Flash from the Justice League. Okay, over here we got Huckleberry Hound and Snagglepuss. Now who remembers the Hanna-Barbera cartoons? That's some old school 80s stuff right there. But below that we got Pele and Barker from the Enchanted Tiki Room, one of my favorites. And then we got Captain Jack up there in Dorb's form. And then we got the amazing Disney Skyliner right there. And if we turn it to the side, we see the man himself, Mickey Mouse, riding the Skyliner. And then we got Jack and Sally in there from Nightmare Before. For Christmas. Love it. Then there's the Splash Mountain Pop I showed you at the beginning. See, this is like a lot of the 80s Funko Pop culture stuff with Gizmo and then Voltron right there. Then we got the Cheshire Cat right there. We got Seymour from the uh, Little Shop of Horrors. My 80s fans will remember that too. Speaking of the 80s, we got Darkwing Duck. Then Mr. Incredible. We got him in uh, 2017 when we went to Disney's Incredible Summer at Walt Disney World. And then Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe. Back to the 80s again. Next to King Bob, who, you know, I just love... I just love the minions. But anyway, we got Orko from He-Man. That's again some 80s stuff here for you. And then we got He-Man, of course. And then Skeletor. Yes. And you really have to be an old school He-Man fan to remember Buzz Off, but he was on there quite often. And then as much as I wear the Kansas City Chiefs hat, I do love me some Indianapolis Colts. And so I got the Andrew Luck pop. And then Oswald Cobblepot from Gotham. So that was my Funko Pop collection. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but Funko has an app that lets you like keep track of your collection. I just want to show you that real fast. And then we'll go look at some more Funko Pops because Lauren wanted to show off her Funko Pops. But first, let's check out the app. All right, so as you can see, this is the Funko Pop app. And if you open it up, you'll notice it shows the current Funko Pops, which is pretty cool. Um, you can actually search for any Funko Pop that you wanted to. Like just say like, no, no, Mickey Mouse. And you can see all the Funko Mickey Mouses. 
But that's pretty cool too. But here's the best thing under lists. And as you can see, I have a wish list started. And I also have my collection. But as you can see, it's <laughs> my current estimated value is 1,662 for all my Funko Pops. But as you can see, you can sort it however you want. I currently have it sorted as my most expensive Pops. And as you can see, my Splat 2 Splash Mountains are currently the most expensive Pops I own, followed by the 18 van there. But anyway, you can also see like you have 49 total items there. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I just love how the, you can uh, keep track of all the Funko Pops that you own in this, this one app. So I would highly recommend if you're into Funko Pop collecting that you download that app for your iPhone or your Android device. Super helpful and kind of cool actually just to know like what's your estimated worth of your collection. But anyway, let's go check out Lauren's Funko Pops real fast and then we'll come back downstairs and wrap it up. All right, we made it to Lauren's room. Now let's check out her pops. All right, Lauren, show us your Funko Pops. So here's a figment and then Ariel, a different and then another kind of Ariel. Rapunzel and Pascal, Anna, Young Elsa, Snow White, Winnie the Pooh, Minnie Mouse, Joy, Boss Baby, the Grinch, Wonder Woman, Summer Olaf, Tigger, Jasmine, Forky, Gidget, Max, and then here's Cinderella, and over there is Bo Peep. So as you can see, we love Disney in this family, don't we, Lori? Yes, we do. You can see it in our Funko Pops. Does anyone remember the Beanie Babies? Because I often get this, like, correlation from these Funko Pops to the Beanie Babies. And while yes, I do recognize that there is some crossover there, you know, Beanie Babies, Funko Pops, they're both hot collectible items, or they were in their times. But what I'll say about the Funko Pops versus the Beanie Babies is, I think the Funko Pops are here to stay. Why I think that is, Beanie Babies were cute, right? But there was really no tie-in to, like, memories from the past or pop culture or anything like that. That's what really makes these Funko Pops stand out to me. They took our pop culture icons and turned them into little figurines for us to collect. And that's why I think they'll be around for a long time. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that video of me showing off our Funko Pops. Do you collect Funko Pops too? Let me know in the comments down below what your collection consists of. Alright everyone, make sure you hang out for just a little bit longer because we'll have some end cards with some video suggestions and we'd love it if you'd watch another video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Click that join button down there below to find out all the benefits of becoming a member of our YouTube family. If you want a little less commitment but still want to support the channel, head on over to our coffee page. It's just a way for you to drop us like a virtual tip or buy us a coffee. Any way you choose to support the channel, we really appreciate it. Alright everyone, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace and love.